merging data into mailing labels is a little different than form letters. It's still necessary to prepare and scrub your data, just like for a form letter mail merge. In fact, it's best to use the same data source for both letter and labels. I've already prepared the data and renamed the column headings in this spreadsheet. There are several ways to do a mail merge. I'm going to do the job without using the mail merge wizard. First, make sure the show hide button is on so you can see the formatting marks. Next, click on the mailing tab. Click the start mail merge button. Select labels. This opens the Label Options dialog box. Select the label size that you will be using. Avery 5160 is a common size and label. Click OK. This adds a table to the document where the cells are sized appropriately for the Avery 5160 labels. I've added a few steps to help keep the content properly positioned on the label. Select the table, click the Layout tab, click the button to align center left, hit Delete so the label only has one line, and the end of the cell marker is next to the cursor. Click the Mailing tab, click Select Recipients, select Use Existing Source, Navigate to the spreadsheet file that has your prepared and scrubbed data. Select the file. Click Open. Select the worksheet. Make sure the checkbox by the first row contains column headings is checked. Click OK. Word automatically inserts the next record rule in the other labels. Click the Insert Merge Fields button. Select the name column. Hit Enter. Since we have already combined address 1 and 2 into one line, insert the address column. Hit Enter. Insert the city column, comma, then the state and zip column. Now click Update Labels to automatically insert the content of the first label after the next record rule on the other labels. This is a good time to save the label template file. Once the file is saved, you can click the Preview Records button to make sure the data looks OK on the labels. Click the Finish and Merge button. I like to select Edit Individual Documents so you merge the labels into another Word document. Select Merge All Records and click OK. I merge them into a second Word document so that I have one more chance to check for errors before printing. If there is a problem, I can delete the file, fix the errors in the file with the placeholders, and remerge the data. At this point, I click on the Files tab to see the Backstage view, save the merge results. I usually add the word Merged to the end of the file name so I can tell it apart from the file with the placeholders. Click the Print button. Click the Printer Properties and the Page Setup links to make sure all the settings are correct. 
At this point, I sometimes print on a plain piece of paper as a final test before loading the labels into the printer and hitting the print button.